UI table view and UI collection view are the most common ways of showing lots of information in iOS, and you now know how to use both. You should be able to go back to project one and recognize a lot of very similar code. And that's by intention. Apple's made it easy to learn both view types by learning either one. You've also learned another batch of iOS development. This time, UI image picker controller, UUID, custom NS object subclasses, fatal error, and more. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, add a second UI alert controller that gets shown when the user taps a picture, asking them whether they want to rename the person or delete them. Second, try using picker.sourceType equals dot camera when creating your image picker, which will tell it to create a new image by taking a photo. Now, big warning here, this is only available on devices. It's not available on the simulator. So you want to check the return value of UI image picker controller dot is source type available before trying to use it. And third, modify project one to use a collection view controller rather than a table view controller. I strongly recommend you keep a copy of your original table view controller code so you can refer back to it later on.